Well, back here at home, a state lawmaker from the West Valley is in intensive care after testing positive for the coronavirus. Representative Lorenzo Sierra is said to be resting comfortably but intubated at a hospital in Baltimore, Maryland. Our political editor, Dennis Welch, has spoken to the lawmaker's wife and has more on his story. Representative Sierra and his wife had traveled to the East Coast to spend some time with their daughter. Before they left, they tested negative for COVID-19. It was only after they arrived that they started showing some symptoms. Now, Rhonda Cagle tells us that she is recovering now after her own trip to the hospital about a week ago, but knows that her husband is in for a fight. My husband, Lorenzo Sierra, is a fighter. And I have absolutely no doubt that he is fighting like hell. Rhonda Cagle speaking to us from her daughter's Washington, D.C. apartment, where she and her husband, Representative Lorenzo Sierra, had been isolating themselves after testing positive for COVID. While she is now on the men, Cagle says it's unknown how long her husband will remain in the intensive care unit, where he's currently intubated, meaning on a ventilator. The doctors have indicated that um, their crystal ball isn't working quite as well as we would all want and hope. Um, their best guess is three to five days as the medication has an opportunity to work. The fact that Avondale lawmaker is intubated shows he has a very serious case of coronavirus, says one emergency room doctor who repeatedly described the procedure as a measure of last resort. There's nothing further to go after intubation unless extreme, extreme circumstances and they can do bypass or something like that. Or some other ones that are extremely hard to do. Sierra was first elected to the House in 2018 and is the third state lawmaker to publicly announce they had COVID-19. Since the outbreak, his wife, who is a cancer survivor, says they've taken every precaution but still contracted it. COVID-19 is real. It's a public health care threat, and we need to treat it as such. We need to take this extraordinarily seriously. Those other two lawmakers who had contracted the COVID-19 virus is State Senator Lupe Contreras and State Representative Joanna Osborne. In Phoenix, Dennis Welch, Arizona's Family.